skylight. One in three people in the world lack access to safe drinking water. This is particularly true for third world countries, which struggle with both access to fresh water and electricity. To mitigate this, Henry Glogau has specifically developed the skylight device. This skylight serves two functions simultaneously. It converts salty seawater into drinking water, and it provides additional nighttime illumination. The device's principle of operation is quite simple. During the day, seawater is fed through a pipe into a glass tray. Through solar heat, salt and dirt are removed, and clean drinking water is collected through a tap at the base of the hatch. At night, the remaining saline solution from the purification process is used to generate light. The device can purify 440 millimeters of water per day and is already actively used by residents of Chile and Afghanistan. E-Corner System The main problem facing motorists in large megacities is finding a free parking space. And if they do find one, they still need to figure out how to park. At that moment, many envy crabs, which can move sideways. For this reason, Hyundai has taken these desires into account and introduced their latest innovation, the e-corner system, a technology for steering a car. The main feature of this system is four motor wheels, an electronic steering system and electronic shock absorbers integrated into each wheel. As a result, each wheel can accelerate, brake, and steer independently of the others. This allows for parallel parking even in the tightest spaces and enables a 360-degree turn on the spot. Another application of the system is diagonal movement, where all four wheels turn in the same direction at a 45-degree angle. This facilitates smooth lane changes and maneuvering around obstacles on the road. Range Energy Trailer the trailer in most trucks is simply a dead weight that reduces the tractor's power and increases fuel consumption. But what if the trailer could propel itself? That's what the Range Energy Company thought, and they developed the trailer with its own electric motor and batteries. This innovation provides a portion of its own torque, reducing the load on the diesel tractor and decreasing fuel consumption by 41%. Additionally, compared to standard tractors, this configuration makes the truck-trailer combination more maneuverable and offers it an edge in climbs and overtaking. The trailer is equipped with battery packs with a total capacity of 200 kilowatt hours, which can be charged from an alternating current or direct current source. Currently, the trailer is undergoing testing, but according to the manufacturer, the new product may soon be available for sale. Tegola Solare One of the drawbacks of installing solar panels on roofs is that they can spoil the appearance of buildings. This is particularly relevant for cities with a large number of old structures that lose their uniqueness when such installations are added. Two Italian companies have solved this problem by creating Tegola Solare, a ceramic roof tile with integrated solar panels. This ready-made solution allows for preserving the aesthetic design of homes while making them more independent from the power grid. The unique feature of the solar roof tile is that it is laid in the same way as traditional tiles. Special tools or separate wiring are not required during the installation process. All electrical and mechanical connections are manually established during the laying process. The innovation generates approximately 3 kilowatt hours of energy per 40 square meters which is sufficient to meet the energy needs of a single household. Extraction of Water on the Moon The human body is composed of approximately 70 to 80 percent water, so it's not surprising that the first thing we strive to find in space is water. Transporting water is too expensive because it is heavy and takes up a lot of space. Fortunately for humanity, even the Moon has enough water to sustain a lunar colony. Researchers have recently discovered that it can be extracted using a regular microwave. Those who use the device frequently have probably noticed that dry food items become moist after heating. Scientists have employed the same method. They heated two types of simulated lunar materials using microwaves. The experiments demonstrated that microwave extraction can yield approximately 55% to 67% water in about half an hour. This is highly practical. 
Moreover, the installation itself will be easy to construct and maintain on the moon. Captura Scientists have been greatly concerned about the global climate change caused by the greenhouse effect for many years. Thus, experts are constantly seeking ways to reduce the level of CO2 in the environment. One of the latest developments is the Captura installation, which cleanses seawater of carbon dioxide. This floating island will be located directly in the ocean, and the purification process begins with the collection of ocean water. Acid will then be separated from the liquid, and the solar panels installed on the island will provide the energy for this process. The acid will be added to the same seawater, which promotes the release of carbon dioxide from it. The gas is stored in tanks, while the purified water is returned back to the ocean. After purification, the seawater becomes a natural carbon dioxide sink once again. Therefore, the gas extraction process can be repeated almost infinitely. Currently, the system has undergone testing in a coastal area, and its launch into the open ocean is planned in the near future. Airbus Loop Space and comfort are of vital importance for modern astronauts who spend several years in space at times. In light of this, Airbus has unveiled the concept of the Loop Orbital Station, which may soon replace the ISS. Unlike other projects that involve modularity, Loop consists of a single barrel. Its interior space is divided into three decks. The research deck will serve as a workspace for conducting various scientific experiments. Astronauts will reside on the habitation deck during their leisure time. The third deck will have its own gravity, serving as a place to rest from weightless conditions. Astronauts will move between decks through a central tunnel, with a greenhouse arranged on either side. The station will have a diameter of 26 feet and will be approximately the same length. <laughs>